All right, here we go. So tell me about your art, Chris. So, thanks, Brian. You're welcome. I appreciate you coming to my house to make this video today. I'll become famous with this video because um, the videography is going to be par excellence. I hope so. As we can see already with the fancy title. So, but talk about the art. What about, um, your art is weird. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of it got, I cultivate it's that. It's unique. Yeah. Like yeah. you got these different pieces and things that are like, I can't believe now I, I, I every time I look at it, I think of a piano. You know? So where yeah. do you get the material at this time? Why is it so weird? Well, I don't, you know, I was uh, raised in the Catholic school system, uh, you know, outside of Philadelphia uh, in Delaware County, and it was miserable. Um, nuns and priests, um, you know, beat the hell out of me. You know, it was my own fault. I readily admit it. But anyway, uh, I think somehow that that plays into this gods and devils theme that runs through my art. And uh, later on in the video, oh. we'll see some of those pieces. Yeah, the gods and devils. Represent gods and, and devils. And the snakes. So, uh, Where do yeah. snakes come from? Yeah, maybe the serpent as Satan. You know, I don't know. It's all subconscious oh. with artists, and it bubbles underneath. And uh, when I sit down to make a piece, you know, and uh, I sketch out the idea, uh, you know, it comes out. And... Uh, I let it flow, is all I can tell you, Brian. Is I, I, oh, I know I that. I know. I know. We're kind of trying to scratch underneath the uh, unconscious process of creativity, and uh, you left the covers up in too much, and maybe you'll lose your, your mojo, but we don't want to, but, but still, so the themes would be, they got the, 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 the religious themes. Um, yeah. Snakes. It's a lifelong process that builds, I think, through one's life. And it stacks experience on experience on experience. And when you finally let it out in an art form, like you know, in music, yeah. when, you, when you write a song, or I sit down with my wooden metal and paint and my tools and brushes, you know, through uh, through that art form, you know, in a in a piece, uh, you know, that I can hang on the wall that'll endure hopefully for, you know, centuries. So. And you get these. I mean, um, I'm always impressed where th your your pieces tell a story. Right. My, I'm kind of with my hand to tell a story, <laughs> and um, and you get this a kind of a conceptual framework of the whole thing in your head, and then you just kind of you orchestrate the the construction of it. Yeah, yeah. There's a process to it, and uh, I think most artists, you know, what what they do is they keep their eyes open all the time. Uh, for me, for me, it's a lot of colors. I always look at colors, and I and I'll, I'll we'll show you a piece later that's on my bench. Well, let's today. go downstairs to the area. Okay. Um, and this is uh, no editing here, so um, following you, plenty of light, so we could keep the cameras rolling. And we're going down to the coveted studio, and stuff all over the wall here. Look at this. Okay, so we got this one here. Look, I see a cross. Okay. Oops. Let's see. I gotta get that on there. I have to put this on the side and see the whole thing. So That's called the, the Battle for Stalingrad, 1942. Got the little Russian baby, and uh, it's a whole story. It is a story. It is a story. And what's yes. this thing up here? That little looks like a silver, like a shot glass or something. Oh, uh, I have parts from the transmission here, parts from a door. That's an old back scratcher on the top, and an old plastic, cheapy dollar <laughs> frame, some old wood love it, love and it, wire. It. And um, nails that I had laying around, old rusty nails. Yeah. There's some bottle caps and uh, the domino piece from a game. The domino piece. And so, uh, okay. this is the, the helmet is a little tea light, actually. I just turned it upside down, put it on his head. And this fellow, this little doll struck me as looking like a Russian baby. So uh, that was my inspiration for that. When I saw this doll at the flea market. Right. I said, you know, it looks like a Russian baby. Okay, we're going, just let's go all over to the right here. We got the, the burning bush. Yes, yeah, I mean, We can spend piece. so much time on every piece, but let's just go on a couple here. So this is nice light. So what about this guy here? I was on an Obama kick for a while. Um, this was uh, made during his first term in office. And, oh. You know, some people say it's Obama. Some people say it's not. I let the, I let the viewer. Looks like Jerry Lewis. Try to decide. <laughs> <laughs> we're like Arnold Schwarzenegger with the hair anyway but that that's nice a, that one's cobbled together from some old sheet metal 
And a fish lure, right? Breakfast. A fish lure here? It's a, it's a spoon. It's oh, it's a spoon. spoon. I found right. it in the Delaware River. Well, it has to do with fishing clothes. Wow. And there's an old uh, mint tin and some fishing lures, yes, on either side of it. And I recognize the piano piece. There. Yes, there's okay. a piano piece in there. It's got here. Yeah. And, um, all right, so just uh, too many to, to dwell on, but it's a touch base. And there's a lot with the colors on this one here. This is yeah, more like a traditional colors. photograph, not much three-dimensional here, is there? I think you can make it any, oh, you can anything actually, yeah, there's a little that bit. you want, as long as you get the colors right. People will respond to just the colors, I think. And this is, I like this guy here. Yeah, this one's called Bad Religion. And it's, it's like one of my bigger pieces. All these different, each one is its own little art piece. I gave him teeth from Mardi Gras beads that I got directly from New Orleans. You can buy them by the box, used ones. You buy them by the pound, actually. Huh. Awesome. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's like an alien here. Oh, got it. Okay. This would be the video effect. Aliens coming in danger, Earthling. Anyway, we got this. Um, and this guy here, I remember this was. Yeah, that was called the baby contest. The baby contest. Yeah, the pretty boy up top there who won it, and the ugly mugs down below who did not. No, are these pictures of people you know. These are images that I find at a, at a flea market or something, or why I'm roaming around my ma old magazines and, looks and like whatnot. A lot of like, public domain images that just I acquire off the internet. That looks like Eisenhower in the bottom. And again, it's old, um, old nails, old glass, old wire. And what's the music on the back? What's what's the significance you know, of that? That was a piece of sheet music, Brian, but I can't remember what it was from. But the old sheet music, which you can buy at a flea market for. They'll give you, you know, 20 sure. reams of it for $4. And these are old transmission parts out of a transmission because I played music with a fellow who repaired transmissions. And he, I saw him in his shop one day and I says, oh, can I have them? And they gave me a box full of them. It's like a, a nice, almost like a, a nice yeah. solid piece of metal. Yeah. Or st a stainless steel, I guess. they got needle bearings and everybody's got them in their car. I'm going to go out and take them out of your car while you're talking. <laughs> That's all right. That's all. Yeah. I'll replace it with these. You know, <laughs> this is just some old filigree from some fancy piece of What's a filigree? Crap. And an old. Wait, what's is, a filigree? Uh, fancy metal. Oh, okay. And this is a uh, the top of a number ten can of baked beans or something. <laughs> <laughs> love that. Yeah. Love, love. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, the, the okay. And this one here, I, I think I might sense a little religious theme here. Yeah, and I hear we talked about my miserable Catholic upbringing before. And uh, yeah. this is a, I make these series of baby bishops, I call them. And I, uh, I have no problem taking a baby a bishop or a baby pope. And, no, uh, have you ever had an interaction with some kind of a... I nail them uh, right uh, in a coffin right shaped there. like a cross. Oh, my God. And some people complain about that, but... Well, have you ever had it? Yeah, so, uh, I mean, you yeah. know. But that's what I do. Amazing. All right, let's go into the studio here. And uh, I noticed uh, uh, fishing poles. Well, that'll be the next video about your views on fishing. So yeah. just a I'm post a that. I'm a diehard fisherman. And also your another video will be for your sports background. Oh, I thought the snake would have been done. Well, that's oh, that's going to take quite some time. This would be cool if the camera would come up with a snake. Mm -hmm. This is going to be, that's just a piece, that's a raw piece of material. That you fished out of the creek, and it's gonna be, it's gonna, it kind of hangs on its own, and we'll have to come back and see the finished product. And someday I'll actually do it. And it comes to the end. Oh, it's kind of talking. All right, so here we are, and you said you had a couple of pieces you work on your workbench. Yeah, this is my shop. Let's get some. And I just have, you know, okay. little tiny tools. So when you introduce, uh, personally tools. introduce each of your, your friends here, your tools, I'm sure they're... It's a the belt sander. Now, so, do you have a name for it? Like Barry the belt sander or something? I name on it here. That it was given to it at birth. But <laughs> this one's a delta belt sander. Okay. And this is a scroll saw. Scroll saw. There's a couple pieces I'm working on okay, here that were... Like a... As I said before, these are just inspired by color. Uh, a day last week, I saw a ad for menthol cigarettes and in the ad were these really eye-popping colors of black and neon green and um, oh, i like the colors so i just 
took the color theme that I liked, the black and neon green, yeah. and I decided to make just a couple of black pieces. And I like cats and I like devils. Oh. And these will have, they'll, they'll be mostly black, except they're going to have these neon green eyes. So that my idea from seeing the black and neon green on the cigarette commercial right. is just going to come into my art and, now. And you, Only because and the, I like the colors. You mind me touching, but the frame is actually part of the... Oops, oh, I'm missing. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Can we animate this? Hey, hey, I'm the devil. Hey, the old kitty cat. What does the cat say? I'm the devil. What do you say, kitty cat? You don't have a voice, do you? And the cat goes like this. Oh, Mr. Devil, don't hurt me. I'm a little kitty cat. Have you ever seen Hello Kitty? That's me. Anyway, it's not about me. It's about you. All right, what else you got? Here's, here's the eyes that'll go in those. Oh, but then it's, how are you gonna? So, so I'll get the, uh, I'll get that green color versus the black color, and it just. Oh wow, it, that pops! It just pleases my eye. And oh I, my god, Man, what a difference! It's simple as that. So. Anyway. Nice, nice. That's kind so of, that's one piece. What's your other piece that you're working on? Well, here I've got some new ones. Yeah, new ones, good. That are just out of the shop. Let me just uh, touch base on. So all these pictures here, is there muse of some kind? Uh, you find, you know, some inspiration in these or just kind of a... Yeah, this is not that's no, from this. nothing but somebody's workshop. That's your <laughs> the studio. Yeah, that's the, the owner's the out owner. of Metropolis uh, in uh, Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. And do you have a lot of, do you have like a lot of articles about you? Like newspaper articles, like scrapbooks and things, or you paints? I've got some press online, Brian. And some good articles, mostly out towards Harrisburg, believe it or not. Yeah. And I've appeared in some magazines out there, you know, the kind of Friday magazines and what to do on the weekend kind of thing. This one's kind of cool. I didn't tell him what's going on. Yeah, this is one I'm working on. This is going to oh, be a David Bowie David tribute piece. Oh, my God. Nice. So I, what I do is I create the superstructure. Yeah, you, so, you, you, here. so you start with the frame then. Yeah, I, in this I one. build it out. And of then you stock. kind of fill it in. I like that. Yeah, and then I go through my piles which oh. are here and over here. And I pick out what I think is appropriate. And again, I collect all this stuff, you know, during my travels in life, flea markets and garbage cans. And What's a $2 bill for? Somebody gave me a $2 bill one day. <laughs> <That's what laughs> <that's for. laughs> all right. <laughs> Not much about it. Wow, this is cool. This is all the... Yeah, a lot of... I, there's you a know, muffler it, shop in Hamilton that I go up. I recognize this month. transmission. That was I would say the other car I used to have. When I realized it didn't start because yeah. someone had hijacked the transmission. Now I know where the parts went. Nice. And you got some antlers there, deer antlers. Things here. Look at this stuff. Yeah, you Oops. can never have too much Sorry stuff if you make the kind of art that I do. So. I'm not constantly asking well, friends to save it for me. And, and, and probably, we, I would think that that you know you say oh i know where that one little piece is <laughs> yep. it's, in, it's in one of these boxes uh oh, and then he starts to I find it well here's some little dolls and that so yeah i guess if anyone's seen this video it has these little trinkets they could this uh, is what works for me so i okay. want to ask friends at home oh friends at yes. home <laughs> take a big cardboard box and go in your kitchen and take your junk drawer and please dump it in the box for me and then send it to chris hash Chris Cash here in uh, Yardville, New Jersey. Thank you. All right. Public service message uh, received. These are some new ones oh. that, that I've made in the last last three weeks or so. I've got some oh, solo man. shows coming up uh, next year or this year in 2016. I'm in Pennsylvania, one in Easton and one in Mechanicsburg. Oh, you got the, uh, the, it's like the Jersey Devil in a way, huh? Yep. This, this is all found object multimedia. This one is kind of like a, like it's tilted backwards, like it should be maybe not, like it should be vertical. No, nah, you know, I wanted to show that instead of standing it up straight like this, Brian. Yeah. I think it shows a little better when you put it like that. Oh. You can see it a little better. That's a David Bowie tribute, rest in peace. Yeah. Ziggy Stardust. Oh, that's interesting. And this is not David Bowie. No, this is just a, a double boy punk kind of thing because that's what I like. And this here. This here is Robert Johnson, the blues uh, one. Rest in, another rest in peace. Yeah. Well, this kind of goes with the Johnny Cash type of theme. Yeah. I like that head. Jeez. And here's another self-portrait that I made. 
<laughs> oh, my self. I never saw you. Me had a self portrait. Another one? Yeah, by the way. That's a self portrait. Well, I had made one very much like this, that, and it got sold. And I decided to make one a little bigger. See, it's got my shadow. And see, good to better. No shadow. <sighs> And you Amazing. can always tell a Chris Cash piece because I always put oh. uh, little fancy ciphers on the back. Yeah, I know. I was looking at that. Uh, there's the, you always put the name, the devil hunts me. And then, I don't know what that, yeah, what Delta, I... right? Oh, that's 666. Delta fight? Flight? Oh, yeah. oh, God. And Chris Cash, we know what that is. Whatever inspires me. And then this here, this little thing with the with the triangle and the yeah, mystery, 13, 7, 16, those numbers. Mystery cipher. Oh, okay. You know, Don't tell us that anymore when this thing here. A hundred years from now, they'll still be trying to figure it out. That's my goal. And but this little image with the smiley face, it's yeah, like the... Like just, a, just a little signature that I put on. Like it. You know, yeah. so people know it's mine. Yeah, and, I, did, and, 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 and I guess one thing is, when do you stop? That's yeah. and that's probably yeah. one of the things that you are so good. You know when it's over. Yeah, well, that's an artist thing, Brian. Uh, well, that's a big you thing. Know, when, when I'm satisfied with it, I'll uh, turn it over and I'll put my name on the back. Yeah, and study upon your humanity. Oh man, uh, it's this one here. I, I, you know, I can't help but ask you, but what's this guy? Study upon your humanity. Here you go, Brian. Let me hold it for you. Okay. Yeah, and forget everything else. Um. Again, as an artist, you go through life with your eyes open and try to be receptive to everything. And one day I just had a muse and uh, I wrote it down, uh, you know, that if people study upon the basic humanity and forget about all the extraneous bullshit, everything in life wow. would be okay. Humanity here and now. But people can't do that. So wow. anyway. So... Okay, so break it down. We got the steam. How does yeah, it work? Yeah, so I take people's humanity, the heart, the heart, and I trap it in something ugly, the world, if right. you will. Yeah. Again, this is you. You interpret this any way you want. Uh -huh. And uh, okay, I well, too much I, to keep it a little cryptic, but uh, so I far, I surround our, our sacred heart humanity with devils. Are they devils? Well, right. To me, they might be. Or just skulls, like like the other side, like you're gonna pass along. And the little little fire does like the sun rays yeah like a sacred heart uh, motif it's yeah. a pretty common motif with the flames coming out of a heart right and then once you display it, it's like oh yeah that makes sense and again a little cryptic uh thing on, on fish the, well i know you like the fish yeah it's a fish thing and you got the 1370 like a and there's a little smiley face I've always seen some uh and this is the, the little pink uh, oh, dot I on the back that. i i do that a lot in uh an homage to Jackson Pollock, the uh, the famous wow. uh, artist. You can uh, you can study up upon what oh, I do. You that. were working on that one before when I was here. This uh, this one here, not the one to the right. That yeah. one, yeah. I remember you would you were showing me the arms. Yeah, love now, cry later. That is this awesome. is a motif that's been successful for me. Yeah. With that. And again, I you know I start with the colors. Black and red always seem to work. So I do black. Love and now, red. cry later. Okay, so it's, um, just to grab this one. I got uh, love now, cry later. I see the love would be the red, cry. Um, I see two cards: a jack of hearts, a jack of hearts, or the four of hearts, jack of hearts, right? Jack of hearts, another jack of hearts. Well, that's a king, of king and queen. I don't have my glasses. I kind of say. representing oh, king men, and queen. men and women, <laughs> oh, Brian. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know where the jack came from. I, I can't really even see And, uh, you know, the theme is love now, cry later. Maybe something we love in the moment, uh, you know, comes back and bites us uh, a week later. Like gonorrhea or... Well, yeah. that's a bad example, but if you get you get my point, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> metaphorically. <laughs> All right, Chris. Um, You know... um. And another uh, and the back has now now tells its own story. Well, uh, you know we're on, we're running kind of up to twenty minutes here, and um, maybe we'll we'll just find a stopping point. Um, and um, uh, um, thank you, Brian. Appreciate you coming today. Yeah, you know, I appreciate the friendship um, you, you've had and, and and the support you've given me. And um, well, I'm, I'm avoiding my face here, but I don't shake hands in the camera. No, we're going to do a, a selfie. A little hug. Me and the artist okay, together. Okay, okay, our little selfie here. Yeah, he wanted to avoid oh, word. Is this right? Is that something like that? Yeah, you can see. All right, goodbye. Somewhere in there where... <laughs>